The name of the movie is Three Days of Condor, 1975. Like, guys, I, I know this is Earth because, of course, right? But what is all of this? See the American flag? I recognize a filing cabinet. I recognize hair. As of right now, I think it was filmed very well for the time, guys. Absolutely. Definitely super early usage of teals and oranges uh, here, guys. Guys. Wait a second. Let me see that, that glorious transition again. Like on point cuts. All right. So we're going to go ahead and speculate that this movie is about to be filmed amazingly. Uh, and just in terms of like the cinematography. Um, but all right. Let's get it. Still no clue what it's about. Lies and on the computer by four o'clock. Yes, sir. Better get the tone. Computer. Closer to the light, doctor. You're getting a blight on the leaf. Well, they had computers. Gonna rain today, ten twenty. All right, guys. As of right now, it feels like something nefarious may be going on here. Uh, pretty much based off the fact that the woman has a gun in her desk. Uh, there is also someone looking for someone, crossing off names. All right. Uh, let's continue. But they couldn't recover the slug itself. Hey, we're getting somewhere. You okay. Guys out. So it either went through the person or... No, it just went through the person. Or or, or if it didn't, they went and specifically dug it out of the body. Uh, Far East Journals. It's great. Yeah. Okay. What is I'm almost positive you can't touch her like that. I'm almost positive, but she may like it. I think this man is is like 1970s attractive, guys. I think he is. Um, overall, I think I think he's like a solid looking man, right? But she may like that. Calligraphy is getting beautiful. Uh, what it's is probably it? okay. That means languages: Turkish, but not French; Arabic, but not Russian or German. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the like a, a chart over here, um, and it's basically overlaid on top of the movie itself, so I can kind of see like what's actually happening behind the scenes. Um, guys, I think this video was uh, was was filmed very well. I think it was colored very well. It's almost like the the color of the actual like the video itself is maybe baked into the film. Could be, guys. Right. That's probably how they were doing it at that time, right? It was just all film stock. Uh, and what we see is whatever film stock they basically chose before it. Uh, it looks very good. Like, surprisingly good. I think it looks better than The Exorcist. Uh, I have no idea. I think it was probably just around the same time this came out, right? Um, so if they could do this, what's the excuse? Dutch. It looks great. Seriously. Yes. <laughs> It's never been in China. Is that okay to say? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't trust this guy in the phone booth. This Stuart Langley said there's nothing from any other intelligence source to support your theory. HQ at Langley. These things are really pretty simple. They just look complicated. Mr. Turner, I wonder if you're entirely... Guys, what do you want to bet that machine is a calculator? Happy here. I'm going to guess this movie won a lot of awards for its cinematography. Oh, yeah. It seems like early usage of anamorphic lenses. Hey, hey. Hmm. 
So he's being watched by someone, it seems. Or the building that he's in is being watched. Uh, what else? Something about Langley. Huh. Park East Hospital? Is it in New York? I wonder. Luncheonette? Huh. Like a... Mm, like a deli of sorts, yeah? You come in here to get sick, just like everybody else. <laughs> hey, oh, come on! Huh? Hey, no butter on Ray's sandwich. He gets very panicky about butter. Hmm. A couple of valid points were just made there, guys. What is better to be? An early starter or a late bloomer? Probably the late bloomer. Uh, because I guess I think, uh, let me put this together in my head at least. Um, I think maybe you could spend your life, right? Like gaining all the characteristics of like, a, like someone who is not successful, right? You can gain all of that. And that's a very good thing to kind of build upon. Think about this here. Because when you actually make it, it means a lot more. But if you're born and you're just you just have everything thrown at you all the time, I'm not sure that makes you inherently a good person, right? I think you have to go from having nothing to having something. I think that's the, the more beneficial. But yeah, he sold nothing while he was alive. That's absolutely terrible. Seriously, he never reaped the the fruits of his labor, guys. Right? Imagine. Whew. Um but I personally would always say it's better to be a like a late bloomer. Opinion. Is that a cop or a mailman? Hyde Park. Yeah, guys, there's a lot of like odd like things happening here. What? <laughs> Bro, how does she fly back like that? <laughs> okay. Hey, hi, there's some random people inside your office building currently. Don't just stand. Oh, oh, you're done. Wait, wait, wait. Nah, stand in front of the window. Hey, bro, don't even go inside that building. Don't scream. Don't even go upstairs. This the, the, the man got his toupee knocked off. This, <laughs> bro, bro. That's a crazy scene. Hey right, guys, really quickly, let me ask a, a question here. Um, is this movie part of a series? Is this the first one? Um, it feels like this is like the second part of a movie, if that makes any sense. Like as of right now, it feels like this is the second part of a movie. We're going, we're, um, um, because I'm trying to understand a couple of things here. Exactly what is this building? Who are they? Why are they in communication with Langley? Um, why does the secretary have a firearm? Why would some people care about entering into a, um, like a historical society? What's, what exactly is happening here, guys? Um, hmm. Unless there's something inside of there, are they holding some like information? Or maybe they aren't who they say they are. That could be it also. Cause again, I'm trying to figure out what would the correlation to Langley be? Um, it could be, 
don't know, guys. Like, maybe they're all, like, spies or something. Or some, like, secret... I don't know, guys. I may be, it may be reaching right now. But I'm just trying to put kind of, like, the information that I have together, at least. Right? Remember, first time watching, I don't uh, read anything about movies. I don't even look at any type of trailers about the movies that I watch. So, um, going blindly... Um, I've noticed with some of the older movies that we do encounter occasionally, right? The way they told stories were definitely different. A lot of things were like left up to your imagination, I think. That's that's interesting to encounter, right? Um, like if I think about like how they do things now, they just don't want you to think. So maybe that's just what, what I'm experiencing currently, right? I'm experiencing something completely new because again, I don't watch a lot of older movies, right? So that that's probably it, right? Hmm. Three days of Condor. Well, I don't... What is your designation? Uh, Condor. Section 9, Department 17. The section's been hit. What level? What level? Level of damage. Everybody. Dr. Lapp, Janice, Ray, Harold. Harold was in the... Okay, so he's like a secret agent. Uh, uh... Are you in a company uh, line? Like, is this like the American James Bond? Yes. Now keep this in mind. I've never seen a single James Bond movie, but <laughs> but um, it's bled into to like uh, our cultural references so much that I know that James Bond was like a British spy. Okay, that's what I know. Right. So I'm gonna go ahead and guess that this is like some spy revenge movie, maybe, but the American version, potentially. Let's go. No, no. I'm in a phone line. Has the incident been discovered by anyone outside the company? I don't, the company? I don't, know. I don't think so. Are you damaged? Damaged? Is he injured? Are you armed? Yes. I used to read comic strips. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and guess that that guy had something to do with what happened. A nasty dry pretzel. Dry. Who is it? Oh, no. Bro, you're having a bad day. The place of business gets hit. It's raining. Forced to eat a dry pretzel. They said you'd be home early. They just got here. Said you gave them the keys. Oh, yeah? Mr. Turner? Uh-huh. Right, <laughs> I'm not staying here. I'm leaving, bro. This this whole thing, right? This did not age well. All right, this just just this part. Everything else so far, great. No complaints, guys. I'm not sure, you know. Well, I remember exactly where I was when those buildings fell, guys. Exactly, skipping school for no reason. Center. I'm controlling now, Condor. Where are you? How come I need a code name and you don't? Good question. Where are you, Turner? No, 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 that's not, that's not the answer. All right, that's a really good question. Who are you? This is why I don't trust him. See, I didn't even know that that was Higgins, guys. I didn't know that was him. But now, remember I told you, initially I was like, I don't think I like him. I think he had something to do with this, guys. Um, I could be wrong. Could be massively wrong here, but nah. Here. The head of your hmm. department just came here from D.C. He's going to bring you home. I've never met him. Don't worry. He's studying your photos now. Turner? I don't like it. Turner? I don't like it. Don't do it. 
I don't know you either. We'll exactly. You'll be what is happening? I'll talk to you in 60 minutes. I mean, bro, did you really expect for him to tell you what's actually happening over the phone? You've got 55. This is ridiculous. You're not a field Listen. agent. It's See, I don't trust him. Good procedure. You had to pick up a friend. What about you, Mr. Wicks? Hey, can you tell me anything about what happened today? When? This morning. Of those murders? But how do you know about those uh... murders? Guys. What's going on here? Guys, remember when I said don't trust that guy? I'm telling you. It, it, my opinion absolutely does not change here. Um, it was a bad idea to go down there. Um, but Harris guy has every single thing to do with what happened here. This is obviously an inside job. Uh, maybe the government got tired of this. Uh, the spy house guy is potentially, um, most likely, something. I'm still trying to figure that out, right? Um, but, yeah, this is definitely coming from the inside. Guys, there are a lot of crazy, scary things happening with a lot of people that uh, <laughs> have way too much power doing crazy, scary things to people who don't. Not sure why they have uh, the military <laughs> there, right? I dig 15 and a half 34s. What size are you? What are you, a clown? I'm scared. So am I. What are you scared for? You've got the gun. Yes. What did you just say? Yeah, and it's not enough. And he's been holding this firearm crazy the entirety of the movie. Every time you've seen it, firstly, he grabbed it out of the drawer and it was upside down. And now he's like, I, can't, I don't even want to... Sh give you an example of how how wild he's holding it because i would never I mentally so hold on like what is he doing with that with that gun i mean i guess he's pointing out the fact that he's not proficient in it right um based off of the uh, the conversation that we just had but whoa yes. don't worry he doesn't know how to use it yeah it's not enough like his finger is literally inside of the trigger guard okay <laughs> he's, he's just grabbing it <laughs> Where's the guy with the shirts? He's at a ski place in the Green Mountains. We just want to go cross country skiing. Bro, bro. Couple of weeks. <sighs> just give me anxiety. <laughs> oh, guys. Um, okay. Okay. All right. Let's go. Watch the hand with the gun. Couldn't you let me stay in the other room? I believe what you told me. No, you don't. Nah, I wouldn't either. I would just be like, there's a crazy man that took me from a store, made me drive him to my house. I get into the house. This man tells me some crazy story about how he's a government agent, a secret government agent, but then handles a firearm in such an absolutely abysmal way that I know factually this man cannot be any of these things. Okay, none of these things. Firearm safety? Who cares about that? Let me just let me just twirl the gun with my finger in the the trigger guard, right? Let me just do all these things. Let me hold the firearm in all types of crazy ways while pointing it at you. Okay, all right. You're crazy. I wouldn't believe you, right? But luckily, I know you're telling the truth. 
Okay. But if I was in her position, I'd be like, bro, I don't believe none of what you're saying. Fool of profession. Not deliberately, but precisely because he is lost. He doesn't know what to do. Unlike Wits. Who has always been entirely predictable. Guys, I never cared to actually like find out exactly the first movie that ever used like anamorphic lenses, but um, they are very comfortable using them here. Um, absolutely comfortable they understood framing they understood the the, the de-squeezing process of it also um, it looks like maybe like a 1.6 times um anamorphic uh, based off of the like the oniony ovally uh, bokeh bokeh balls let's call them guys right um Boca just basically refers to the quality of the smoothness of the area that um, separates the subject from the background. That's basically what bokeh is, right? Um, and when there's lights in the background, they should be creating almost perfectly like spherical um, balls, let's say, right? But as you can see, they're absolutely oval, kind of, right? Um, which is extremely indicative of bokeh balls. Uh, being seen through an anamorphic lens. Right? Now, this is one of these anamorphics that seem not to be like either blue coated or like gold coated, let's say. Um, it just seems like a neutral anamorphic. It looks great. Um, but again, I'm absolutely surprised here uh, that this was a thing in 1975. So it tells me I should probably, I'll probably find like anamorphic quality shots. Um, in even older movies, because again, they are way too comfortable using them. This is not new. This is not a new thing. They have, they must have had this for a while now. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to be disrespectful here because I understand this is someone's art. This is, in fact, someone's art here. I think that it is, uh, um, it's okay. Uh, there's nothing really, you know, like, extremely uh, special kind of regarding it. It just looks like whenever you buy, like, a brand new camera and you're bored sitting in, like, a, you're, like you're bored at home. I bought a new camera. I'm going to go out and, and take photos of random and admin objects, guys. Uh, it just looks like that. The lighting isn't even special. There's, it's literally just... Um, a most likely a long lens, um, great that that's going to give for the most part great compression. Um, it's uh, it's being shot in monochromatic. Uh, it's it's an okay image of a bench. Lonely picture. A picture is taken with a. Um, a phone or any type of disposable thing. A picture is literally what she took. Okay, you're right. A photo has a little bit more depth to it. It has the actual, like like uh, like photojournalism, for example. You go to some foreign country uh, while something absolutely crazy is happening and you photograph some of the best photos you'll ever take in your entire life because these photos are actually meaningful. They mean something. They're, these are photos. Those are pictures, okay? She took that, she was bored, and she's going to make up a story to go along with okay. it. Empty streets and trees with no leaves on them. It's winter. Not quite winter. They look like November. Not autumn, not winter. In between. Guys, stop, stop playing with me. God. <laughs> Uh, this is a lot. This is a lot for me to handle, bro. Um, keep this in mind. Photographer for, for over two decades. Uh, graduated uh, 
graduated to college, a master's in fine art, focusing basically on photography, guys, right? Um, and like when I say when I say that it bothers me, <laughs> like when it, when I say this bothers me more than anything on this planet right now, guys, I don't even know how can I finish this movie. I'm gonna remember. I'm gonna it's gonna remind me of the scene of this woman's photography that I that I strongly detest. Um, yeah, I get it. Yeah, everything there's nothing moving in there. There's no emotion. It's it's just everything is singular and by itself and it's lonely. And look at the ridiculous sentiment he added to these meaningless images. Oh, good This is unfair. I know. <laughs> Guys. What? All of this was unfair to her, to be honest. I mean, she, she was going to Vermont to have a good time. All of that was unfair. I'm also going to go ahead and guess it's that the, uh, the lead actor runs a lot in real life. A lot. Or ran. I have no idea. Ran, maybe run or... You get what I'm saying here. I have no idea if he's still with us. Cause... What's his name? Robert Redford was his name? Is that him? Yeah. Oh, no, he's still, he's, he's 87 years old, guys. All right. Congratulations, sir. Fifth floor, uh, ladies' underwear. Kids. Probably the same everywhere. Yeah, generally. Just different things to play with. Bro, you should have let that close back on you. you a question <laughs> oh my god why did you go specifically to that man all right why did you do that i want to i want to know okay why did you went to him specifically and ask him if he's broken into a car before let me know god guys this is crazy <laughs> But even though he said, yeah, of course, <laughs> I, I have. That's crazy. I locked my keys in my car. I need to get in. I'll give you some money. A couple of bucks, okay? Anybody? Uh. 
That was definitely a great save, though. Yeah, that uh, that constantly calling and hanging up thing. Get out of that house, guys. Get out of that house immediately. Oh no. Bro, put the gun down. Also well played on the director's end because they, the director basically set up the fact that she is missing this. So yeah, who who's calling? Most likely the guy. Also at the same time, who's calling? Right? The other guy now. But also he could have just picked up that car on the street. But she also didn't report it stolen. Guys, this is intriguing. Well played. The car uh, bro broke down. The gen generator went. Maybe the generator. Uh, what? What is that? What is that, guys? Like maybe alternator? Maybe could that be what they're talking about? Maybe. The generator broke. The generator. Was it all right? All right. Outside, was it safe? Where no. It no, it wasn't safe. Oh. I'm not sure. No. Everything was terrible. Don't think I want to know you very well. That's honest. And uh, if I was in her position, basically I would say the same exact thing. Bro, I don't care about your existence. I don't think you're going to live much longer. Well, I may surprise you. He at least has three days, bro. You're not telling the truth. What do you mean? You'd rather be with somebody who's not going to live much longer. At least somebody who would be on his way. What? He would take pictures. Uh, okay. Beautiful pictures. Okay. But of empty st Does she have a whole man waiting for her in Vermont? <laughs> whole man that loves you waiting for you in Vermont right now and you you're gonna risk it all for the bad boy not even a risk because you're not gonna get caught right you might as well go ahead guys what is happening here you risked it all this is a a Nikon. Uh, 2.5. Okay. All right. How long is it? Doesn't really say 10.5 wide angle. Extremely, extremely. This is 10 centimeters. Okay. Uh, a Nikkor lens. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and point out something really quickly. Hmm. There's like something in the building. Yeah, I mean, I can go ahead and speculate that there was obviously something in the building. That's the reason why so many people ran into the, the building. There was obviously something in there that was extremely important. Enough to basically become a double agent. Right? Then also, yep, that guy was hit at home. In fact, 
Yep. Guys, this movie is incredibly gripping. Anything in the early pouch? Also, I'm going to say this man definitely does not belong working for the government. But if this is the reason why, like, women um, were, like, started, like, getting really hard into, like, um, you know, the the girls only party, basically, guys. Um, if that's the reason why they, they started going so hard being like, listen, men are terrible. Okay. <laughs> if this is what, if this is what it was, I get it. Sign me up on the paperwork, bro, because this is crazy. You can't just walk into some clothes store and take a woman. <laughs> bro, that's crazy. You took her. You took her and took her home at, at gunpoint. And then you flagged her with the gun like a thousand times with terrible trigger management. Okay, you did that. And then told her, listen, pick up the phone so you can talk to your boyfriend. That's waiting for you right now, but I'm not going to let you go. No. Say there's something wrong with the generator in the car. And then, <laughs> bro, and then, listen, I'm going to be here for, for just one night. Just make me feel comfortable. Bro, what? <laughs> God, guys. Oh, what even is that? Whatever, give me the paperwork, I'll sign it. Okay? <laughs> we need to stop these terrible men. <laughs> okay? We need to stop them. These are bad guys. Headquarters at Langley. I'll need your help. Have I ever denied you anything? Hey. <laughs> when things quiet down, <laughs> you're really a very sweet man to be with. What about your boyfriend? What happened to your boy? What happened to your boyfriend? Listen, see, this does not help. This doesn't help the case, guys. All right, this looks, this looks bad. All right, this looks really bad. You had bad dreams. Talked in your sleep. They're not loyal. What did I say? Who's Janice? Are you jealous? And she's jealous. Was she a volunteer or a draftee? In short package for Catherine Hale. Uh, could you leave it out in the stoop? In short. has got a sign for it. Okay. Well, I, she's, she's not here. It's okay, you can sign. Bro, is that the same person that... Oh, no. What if? The same cop? Yeah, her name on top, you always on the bottom. <laughs> 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 No, no, no. Now listen, you're okay. You're okay. Now listen to me. 819. Good. Take that. Okay. That's where all the um the military guys were. They were sitting around that table. I ain't gonna explain this to your boyfriend. Wix printing. Clarence. Weren't these names? Well, never mind. I mean, cats? What is this? Solid pastrami sandwich. Do 
He would have changed of address. I want to see that report, Turner. No, 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 Higgins. Come on. Do you know him? Professionally, yes. Professionally, he kills people. Yes. Yes. He works for the company? He did once. I'm absolutely surprised that he's just like, you know what, yeah, this is this is what's going on. I know him. I would have figured it would be more, you know, like Cloak and Dacker here, guys, right? Um, but instead, he's just saying, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Your name came up. He's saying all the business. The contract agent. Contract agent. I don't know. Ask Wicks. Wicks died. Someone yanked him off the life support system at Gubner Hospital. Hmm. Someone, eh? Get me in, Higgins. What good would that do if you're right and they are inside? What good would it do to bring you in? Okay, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, wait. I'm, I am thoroughly confused right now. So he did. So so it's not Higgins. Guys, wait a second. Uh, okay, so if it's not him, then who's doing this to this man? I thought it was him the whole time. Guys, this is wild. Let's go. What a liar! Like one of those penny arcade bears that parades back and forth, waiting. Bro, what are you wearing? Somebody, somebody very good, just to take another shot. And you're just what's going on. I'm going to cross check all those names. Nice talking to you, Higgins. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Have a nice day. Where are you going? Where will I find you? I'll find, I'll find you. you. I knew it. That number is 202-227-0098. What is even happening right now? Guys. Like, I would have never thought of that. I'm just going to be honest. Never. It would have never crossed my mind to do anything such as this. I didn't even know that that even existed. <laughs> Guys. Um, look, I understand that, like, uh, you know, touch tones do exist. How the computers basically know, you know, what time, you know, where to, where to dial and things like that. Right? But... Nothing in me would have known to do what he did. Hmm. What's going on, Major? Son of a bitch wired together 50 phones. What? Everybody in Brooklyn's talking to each other. <laughs> so this is basically night two um i'm still wondering what happened to her boyfriend that's waiting for her in vermont because i think that's probably the big question here uh currently uh this is now the second night i'm guessing he's going to uh find a way to insert himself inside of her again um uh, and um that's basically where I'm at right now, guys. Uh, I didn't know you smoked. I quit three years ago. It's the bad boy influence. No, I couldn't. Right, bro, listen, you're going to be found on your, listen, that vehicle will be found on the road dead. All right. It will in fact be. Uh, you, I highly doubt you're making it anywhere near there. Okay. In that. That is tough. And keep in mind, you have a deceased man in your apartment. What I mean is don't call anyone. Don't stop, please. Don't tell anyone about it. Oh, don't worry. She's going to keep your secret. And your baby. Mr. Higgins, you do understand the company's position. There's nothing in the way of your doing this, is there? What do you do? Exactly. 
Exactly. Deputy Director of Operations. What section? Middle East. Was that 17? What are you working on? A book out of Venezuela. Mystery stories in Arabic. Wait, what the hell is so important about... Oil fields. <laughs> oh, of course it's oil. Of course it's oil. Huh. huh. You're trying to get rich. Middle East. Okay. All right. This whole damn thing is about yes. oil. Oh, yeah. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Yes, it was. Oh, here we go. Don't turn for a moment. This move was predictable. Oh! Huh? Oh! What? That was not predictable. Is he going to give him that? Okay. So, so he did that to himself. That's what you're trying to say here. Okay. Right, you you are confused. What? <laughs> Did you touch anything? How? He's with the company. Why? Not anymore. I don't interest myself in why. I think more often in terms of when. That was a business arrangement with Atwood. Did you see? He's gone. Right. Oh, what? Okay, <laughs> guys. <laughs> all right. All right, well, well, oh. let's go. <laughs> we'll drink some Heineken's. What I do is not a bad occupation. But someone is always willing to pay. <laughs> okay. Hey, no chance he heard you from across the street in Manhattan. Hey, no hey. chance. So Atwood just took the games too seriously. He was really going to do it, wasn't he? Renegade operation. I mean, it's going to happen anyway. So those buildings that I kept saying that, that were absolutely beautiful. I remember where, where it was those, you know, that day. Um, that is going to also be one of the excuses used to uh, for this. Uh, kind of what they're talking about here. It's funny how, not really funny, but it's interesting how um, movies can be interesting like like plays on actual life guys. That would new fifty four twelve would never Boy, what is it with you people? You think not getting caught in a lie is the same thing as telling the truth? No. <laughs> Simple economics. Today it's oil, right? Mm hmm In ten or fifteen years, food, plutonium. Ask it when people who've never known hunger start going hungry. You wanna know something? They won't want us to ask them. They'll just want us to get it for them. That's also valid. By any means necessary. You found a home. Just look around. They've got it. That's where they ship from. They've got all of it. <laughs> you play games? I told them a story. Oh, you. Yeah, you're not going to live long. You dumb son of a bitch. Yeah. You've done more damage than you know. You're about to be a very lonely man. Mm. It didn't have to end this way. Of course it did. <laughs> Guys, I did not under any circumstance expect for this movie to turn out like this right so the first 20 minutes of the movie incredibly slow you know world building type of thing that generally happens right but it's it's very different when you go back a couple of like 
uh, when you go back a couple of decades, like it was like 50 years, guys, right? You go back a good distance in time and you will instantly realize how things were different. All right, this feels like another planet. All right, all the machinery they were using, the technology makes no sense to me. I look at it and I'm just like, I don't know what none of this, nothing is really, not, nothing makes sense, bro. Right? Um, but the point is, is that also stories were told differently. Um, and I think the biggest thing that, uh, the biggest takeaway here is uh, there are people, there are kids that are growing up that do not know how to write in cursive at all because it's no re there's no literal reason to ever write in cursive anymore, right? Um, I can't even remember people's phone numbers anymore. I used to be able to remember everyone's phone number because it was important to remember everyone's phone number. And the reason why I'm kind of bringing this up is because this movie is pretty much that, right? Um, it points out pretty crazily how how dumbed down the majority of movies that we actually do watch are. Right? Um, everything is, I don't want my audience to think at all. I want to baby them, handhold them through the entire story so they understand every aspect of it. This movie here did not do that. It didn't handhold nothing. OK, and I think that's what the first 20 minutes were to me. I was trying to understand what I was watching because they weren't saying anything. Right. So I think the, for the most part, I'm probably going to have to go rewatch the first 20 minutes again. Now that I kind of understand that that was how things were. Right. Now, keep this in mind. We also recently watched The Exorcist. Right. And that movie did, I guess, kind of the same thing. Um, I think people were, in fact, on average, smarter than they than they are now. Uh, yeah, technology absolutely is here. We have Google at the tip of our fingers and all these other things. I get that, right? But these people that grew up having to watch this type of thing, right, um, and being and having to put things together like based off of every single context clue that's happening, I think these people were smarter, bro. I'm telling you, I just think so. Because everything in their life made them have to actually work for things, right? And then once I figured that out, the movie was amazing. Instantly. It instantly grabbed me. It gripped me. It did not let go until the literal end of the movie. All right? Um, I definitely feel bad for the boyfriend in Vermont, though. All right? I feel bad for him. He does not know the absolute debauchery that went on. Okay? Raw. He didn't understand that. He will never know. And again, she's going to keep his baby and his secret. So, you know what? Congratulations on that one. Yeah, you, you did well. Uh, in terms of the actual filming itself, it also surprised me here, too. Um, it feels like early, early anamorphics. Um, it, they could be... They could be older than this. I have no idea. I've never actually looked into when and where the concept of anamorphic lenses even came from. But this whole movie was filmed in anamorphics. It looks to be either 1.4 or 1.6 times anamorphics. It's based off of the, the, the squeeze, the stretch. And they obviously, uh, the black bars at the top and the bottom of the, uh, the screen themselves. But, um, but overall, it looks great. Definitely um, teal and orange everywhere, but you can't get away from that. So I'm, I'm trying to not allow that to affect me as negatively as it generally does. Generally. I'm trying. I'm trying really hard, actually. But either way, listen, if you, if you guys do want to see the full-length reaction, it is on Patreon at the second tier. And uh, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly.